Hey folks, it's Andrew, and today I'm going to show you what to do when you get the error Google Play Store has stopped. There's a couple different fixes, and they're all pretty quick and easy, so let's just jump right into it. The first thing you're going to want to try and do is simply restart your device. So hold down your power button, and then just hit the restart button that pops up. Once you've restarted, see if that solves the problem. Another thing you could try is resetting your internet or in checking your internet connection. So you want to scroll down, go to settings, go to mobile and internet, or sorry, network and internet, go to internet, and here you'll see your information on your LTE connection and your Wi-Fi connection. From here, you can see if there's anything wrong, you can try reconnecting to your Wi-Fi, so on and so forth. And another thing you do is you can hit this button up here to reset your internet connection. Now this resets your phone's connection to the internet, it doesn't reset your Wi-Fi router. So after a moment, this will reset and connect back to LTE and connect back to the Wi-Fi. Now it's connected to the Wi-Fi. And it's connected back to the LTE. So see if that solves your problem. One more thing you can try is checking that your phone is up to date. So from the settings screen, you want to scroll all the way down. Go to System, go to System Update, and you want to hit Check for Update. And it will tell you whether or not your system is up to date. For me, I'm all up to date, so I'm good to go. But if you have a system update, go ahead and install that and see if that solves your problem. The next thing you can try is to free up some space on your phone. Sometimes Google Play Store will throw up an error when you're out of space on your phone because it needs a certain amount of uh, storage to operate. So here's a few easy ways to clear up some space on your phone. Go back to your settings menu and first we'll want to go to apps, scroll down, go to unused apps, and here your phone will show you some apps you haven't used in, under, in over three months. So these are apps you don't use often and you can go ahead and try uninstalling some of them to free up some space. Another way you can free up space is to go back to the settings here, scroll down to storage, and then hit free up space here. This is the Google Files app that you could also simply navigate to directly. There's a couple different things you can do here. You can clean up junk files, delete more unused apps, large files, uh, duplicate files, downloaded files, old screenshots, so on and so forth. So for example, there's uh, some junk files here. I'll go ahead and hit clean. I'll hit clear, and now we have almost 300 megabytes of space available. One last thing you can do to free up some space is to clear the cache of some apps. So let's go back to our settings page. From your settings menu, scroll down to storage, go to apps, and then here it will sort your apps by size. So let's just pick a random app, let's say Google Chrome, and this has almost 500 megabytes of cache. When you want to clear the cache of any app, go ahead and hit this button, Clear Cache. And now the cache is cleared, and that is almost 500 more megabytes of space we have in our phone. Feel free to do this for a couple different apps. For example, Office doesn't have a lot of cache, so that might not be worthwhile. But Twitter, on the other hand, has 50 megabytes of cache, so we could go ahead and clear that. Speaking of clearing cache, one another thing you can do to help is to clear the cache of Google Play Store itself. So let's search for Google Play. There's the Google Play Store. Go ahead and hit that. Go ahead and hit Clear Cache. See if that fixes your problem. If that doesn't, one more thing you could try is to clear the storage. Now this will uh, delete the data of the app. This will include your settings, your account, preferences, things like that. You can always you know, put those things back. You're still, you can still log in, but you'll have to redo those things. So if all else fails, go ahead and do that and hit OK if you want to do that. If that still doesn't work, one thing you can do is uninstall the updates for Google Play Store. So go back to your settings, go to Apps, see All Apps, Search, or you could just scroll down and find Google Play. There we have the Google Play Store. Go ahead and hit that. And just as a note, you can get to the cache settings from here as well by hitting storage and cache, and then clear cache there if you want. But for our purposes, what we want to do is uninstall the updates. 
Now you can't completely remove Google Play Store from an Android phone, but what you can do is uninstall the updates. So what you want to do is go here to this button, hit uninstall updates, and then uninstall the updates. Now this will replace the app with the factory version and all data will be removed. After you do this, go ahead and relaunch the app. It'll probably want to update itself. Go ahead and do that and then see if that fixes your problem. If all that fails, one last thing you can try is to remove and then re-add your Google account. So what you want to do for that is to go back to your settings page, scroll all the way down, go to Google. And first you should check that your Google account is in good standing, that you're logged in, that everything's fine. And if it is, and your problem still persists, then one thing you can do is remove and re-add your account. So what you want to do is click on your accounts here, go to manage accounts on this device. You'll be taken to this screen. You'll want to scroll down. And then here I have my Google accounts. Select the one you want to remove and re-add. And then hit remove account. Once you've removed your account, you can go back to this screen tap on your accounts again and hit add another account. It'll ask you to verify and then sign in with your account again and re-add your Google account to your phone. All right, and that's about it. Thank you for watching and feel free to leave a comment if you have any questions and subscribe for more videos. Thanks.